Special Agent, it has been eight days since Marissa Silva, and the task force has received another communication from the math problem killer. I think the accomplice theory is now more plausible than ever before. That is an incredibly fast turnaround time. According to his communication, he is holding a young woman named Abigail Connor at 6078 Silvercrest Avenue. Now I do have some information on Abigail Connor. She is registered as a student at New Columbia State College here in town. Additionally, last night there was a triple homicide at the movie theater on 63rd Street. Two ushers and a general manager were killed. When the murders were discovered, police investigated and learned that a fourth person was scheduled to work that night, R. Abigail Connor. However, she wasn't there. The police then located her apartment and went to investigate. When they arrived, they found Abigail's roommate and four other girls murdered and hanging upside down. The residents in the neighboring apartment were also murdered. I do not believe in coincidences, Special Agent. That behavior is consistent with the math problem killer's M.O. He picks a target and then slowly murders that target's social and familial circle. Okay, Agent. Now that you have a little background, your mission is to recover Abigail Connor from that facility. So stay focused, think critically, and get Abigail out alive. Good luck. Do you want to know how it starts after I bring them to one of my dungeons? Turn around. This is how it starts, Special Agent. In a room, tied to a chair, screaming as loud as you can. And no one hears you. That is how it started with Abigail Connor's roommate, Becky Donaldson. I began following Becky Donaldson, age 20, on 27th Street. She wore jean shorts, fishnet leggings, and black boots with thick soles. Her hair was jet black and she had 16 piercings on her face. I followed her for 45 minutes as she walked in and out of three different stores. She finally met up with her boyfriend, Todd Mayer, 24. I followed the two back to Todd's apartment at 3245 Drebber Street, apartment number 107. Oh, don't worry, Special Agent. We will get to Abigail Connors. But before you have your dessert, you must eat your vegetables. I want to see if you paid attention to my little story, Special Agent. Start with Becky's age, then multiply it by the number of stores she went into as I followed her. Then multiply that by the street I started following her. Then subtract the number of minutes that I followed her. Enter your answer into the keypad on door number one. Agent? This was Becky's table. Did you know, if the nails do not pierce any vital organs, that the human body can withstand a substantial amount of nail penetrations? Becky was on this table for three hours, and she had 37 nails. This was the table I put Becky's boyfriend, Todd Mayer, age 24, on. It was rather romantic. Two lovers, two tables side by side, their screams filling the room like an orchestra. I didn't keep him on the table long, only 36 minutes. Then I hung him by his hands in front of Becky and began asking him math questions. If he got it right, I asked another. If he got it wrong, he got a nail. Poor Todd was not very good at math. I kept him hanging for three hours.
I followed Becky back to Todd's apartment at 3245 Drever Street, number 107. I watched them for 45 minutes. They immediately began smoking marijuana. That was foolish. The response times to a crisis situation would be significantly diminished. It was easy to kick open the door, smack them both to the ground, duct tape them, and carry them back to my car. We would finish this at my dungeon. Look behind me, Special Agent. Do you see that door? If you want to get through that door, you better pay attention. I want you to start with the number of nails penetrating into Becky, and then multiply that by the number of minutes that Todd was on the table. You will next subtract Todd's age, and then add his apartment number. Finally, you will add the number of minutes I watched them before entering their apartment. The answer will open door number two. Get it right, the door opens, and you are one step closer to Abigail. Get it wrong, and the hydrofluoric acid dissolves her skin off.
and the neighbors taken care of. I could take my time. I knocked on the door of apartment 423 and I said, Pizza. One of the girls, Lacey, aged 18, stupidly opened the door. And I was inside. There were four girls. Lacey, Jennifer, age 19, Christine, age 18, Laura, age 20, plus Tiffany, age 19. Tiffany was the prettiest of the five. I chose her. I raised my pistol and I shot two rounds into each torso of the other four girls. They all fell to the ground, screaming. Then I lunged at Tiffany and bound her arms, legs, and mouth with duct tape. When Tiffany was secure, I finished off the other girls with one headshot each. With Tiffany watching, I hung the four girls from the ceiling in a semicircle. It took me 23 minutes. I pulled Tiffany into the center and made her look at each one of her friends. The tears poured down her face. She knew what was happening. She knew what was about to happen. When I finally took the duct tape off her mouth, she begged me to stop. I asked her to tell me about her other roommate, Abigail. I want you to start with the number of bullets I shot at the girls, then multiply this by how many girls were at the apartment. Then multiply this by Jennifer's age. You will next add Laura's age, then add the apartment number. The answer will be variable A. I want you to add Lacey's age with Jennifer's age, then add variable A. Then subtract the number of minutes it took me to hang the four girls. This final answer will open door number four. And it will begin our hunt for Abigail. Unless you make a mistake, in which case Abigail gets burned alive. and Tiffany taken care of, it was time to finish my meal. It was time to find Abigail Connor. But first, look at that writing on the wall, Special Agent. I left you a message. Do you see that? It says, are you smart enough to stop me? Ask yourself that question. Well, here's the answer, Special Agent. You are not. You are flawed and stupid, and you are going to make a mistake and kill Abigail Connor. Because that is the point of these little dungeons of mine. I don't kill the hostage. You do. It was late, 11 p.m. by the time I finished with Tiffany. In the end, she told me Abigail worked at an old three-screen movie theater on 63rd Street. I left immediately. When I arrived at midnight, it was deserted, except for two employees, Chad, aged 18, and Paul, aged 22. They told me they were closing. I asked how many people were closing, and they replied just four. Three ushers and the manager. I pulled out my pistol and shot both of them in the head. I dragged Chad and Paul behind the counter and locked the theater doors. I want you to multiply Chad's age by the street number the theater is located on, then add the time I arrived at the theater. This will be variable A. It 
In order to open the final door, you must add variable A to variable B. Even a stupid special agent like you can figure that one out. Or can you? The office was adjacent to the lobby. I walked inside and found Calvin, age 34, the manager. I approached him, reached out, gripped his hair, and slammed his head into the table. I then duct taped him to the office chair. Now there was only Abigail, age 19. I walked around the theater, looking for her. After seven minutes, I found her. She was sweeping the floor with her headphones on. I approached her from behind. And I grabbed her. I want you to start with Abigail's age, then multiply that by the number of minutes it took me to find her, then multiply that by the number of people working at the theater that night, then add Calvin's age. Then multiply your answer by the first number of Paul's age. The answer will be variable B. You made it, Special Agent. You made it to the final room. But don't pat yourself on the back quite yet. You still have an opportunity to kill Abigail Connors. And you know why you're going to kill her? Do you know why you're going to fail? Because you are not smart enough to defeat me. You are nothing compared to me. You are pathetic. Your whole task force is pathetic. Donaldson, Abigail's roommate? Well, let's hope you do. Because I want you to start with Becky's age. Then multiply the number of nails that penetrated into her body on the nail table. Then multiply this by the number of hours she was on that table. Then add the number of minutes I followed her on 27th Street. Your answer will be variable A. If you want to open Abigail's crate, you must add variable A to variable B, and then add Abigail's age. Unless Abigail's age is an even number, in which case you must subtract Abigail's age. Is that too complicated for you, Special Agent? Because if it is, you are going to kill Abigail Connor. Now let us reminisce about Tiffany and those lovely girls. I want you to start with a number of girls in Tiffany's apartment, including Tiffany. You will then multiply this by Tiffany's age. You will then multiply this by the number of minutes it took me to hang their four bodies in front of Tiffany. This will be variable B. Okay everyone, let's get this brief started. I first of all want to congratulate the special agent for their exemplary performance in entering this facility and successfully rescuing the latest hostage, Abigail Connor. These actions exemplify the high standards of our task force and serve as a testament to the dedication and expertise of our agents in the face of adversity. Outstanding work, special agent. All right, next on the agenda. Although the press conference from several weeks ago did enrage the suspect and increase his violence and brutality, we did receive multiple credible tips from the public that have provided valuable insights into the killer's potential whereabouts. 
In light of this information, I'm immediately deploying several surveillance teams between 10th Street and 35th Street. This strategic positioning aims to maximize our coverage of the areas identified in the tips, thereby increasing our chances of locating and apprehending the suspect. I urge all team members to exercise the utmost diligence and discretion during this operation. Alright everyone, this is week 7, and I want to catch this guy before there is a week 8. So let's stay focused, let's stay vigilant, and let's track this guy down. Good hunting. Subscribe.